Yeah, greed is a fun one. Greed is a fun one to talk about. I've had a lot of people email me talking about greed or at least explaining the symptoms of greed in their trading. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of guidance or a little bit of acknowledgement for them to understand that it is actually greed that's hindering them in, in some of their decisions. Um, and it is very prominent and I also struggled with this and sometimes I still do. Sometimes I still do find myself leaning towards that greedy side in certain positions. So today I wanted to have an open talk about it what is it? How do you recognize it? <clears throat> Excuse me. And how we can kind of battle it, how we can move forward, acknowledging that greed may be a weakness on our side and, and how we can understand it on a deeper level and then actually break it down and use it as an advantage um, in our trading system. So let's have a look. First things first is you may not know that you're being greedy while you're being greedy. Um, trading is this indulgent place where everyone comes together all with the same ambition to take money off the table right we want to get in the markets risk on and leave with more money than what we came in with and every single person in these markets is trying to do that same thing and you get this kind of animal kingdom vibe come up away from it we're a bunch of misfits but we're all the same misfit um, and we all ambition to the same things it's it's this absolutely remarkable area and and praise and i think that's why you also see with a lot of education providers a lot of um influences in trading etc etc always use like a picture of a wolf picture of a bear obviously bears and bulls are the market but but all this animal kingdom kind of fighting for glory alpha alpha animals it's, it's got that energy to it um and sometimes we can find ourselves being a little bit wolfish and what i mean by wolfish is when it all comes down to greed we can find ourselves being greedy when we shouldn't be greedy and you don't have to be a winning trader or a long-term consistent trader or someone that constantly banks profit to understand what greed is because greed can hurt you a long time before you're actually a profitable trader. It can be, in some circumstances, the actual issue in preventing you from becoming a trader. So greed, it's this overwhelming emotion to hold on longer almost like this element of hope sometimes um, it can come in through a overconfidence um, it can come in and creep into your trading in a number of ways and today i wanted to talk about it greed has and sometimes still can impact my trading sometimes i see it sneak in um, but the biggest standout of when I first started to acknowledge greed as an issue was in one of my strategies, in majority of them, but some of them has more room to breathe. I like to pick the entry point of we move as soon as I enter, or at least within like the first couple of pips. Um, it's, it's picking a bottom or a top essentially in one of my strategies. And I would feel this overwhelming sensation of overconfidence the moment I get into this trade and it start running as I wanted it to. Um, and that was my first kind of experience with greed because I'd look to add more to my position or I'd look to hold on to my position for a lot longer than realistically the legs that it had. And that was when I first started to acknowledge as greed is a bit of an issue. When I did first acknowledge it, it completely flipped my trading and not in a good way necessarily. Um, I acknowledged that I was being greedy and then I wasn't greedy enough. I, I kind of did a flip around and turned into uh, a fear of losing essentially. Um, and I did like a full 180. I went from being a really greedy trader into a really passive trader. And then I've just slowly trying to be balanced in that middle. And sometimes I slip out both ways, um, but that's just part of trading is trying to stay inside that, that killer zone in between being greedy enough that I need to be a little bit more ambitious, um, but not as greedy as what I used to be or being unrealistic in greed. There's an old saying in Wall Street, it's pigs get slaughtered. 
Um, and that's exactly what that's referring to. If you're trying to take an asset just for an extra few dollars or an extra whatever it might be, you're being greedy, realistically. If you set your targets and, and everything and you're going further than that and you're trying to manage that, you may be being greedy. So um, it's a very fun one to battle, but that's how it impacted my trading. It helped me in the long run, in the short run, not necessarily. It, it introduced more uh, of a fear of losing into my trading once I was aware of that overwhelming greed I was feeling. Um, but yeah, that's how it impacted me. Um, you never get over it. You never get over it or get under it or whatever it might be, right? We're always faced with these challenges and sometimes they pop up in a number of different ways. But in my personal experience, um, was noting it down, understanding why I was making the decisions I was making. And I actually found early on, any time that I felt overly confident, the position was doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, I was feeling really good. I could have literally just walked away and not watched anything and let it run. Um, those would be kind of red flags for me. Um, over time, I learned that every time I felt that way, or at least majority of the time I felt that way, um, price would reverse. Price would reverse and, and I'd either get out at break even, making no profit on a great trade, um, or it would go on and hit a stop loss and I'd lose money on a great trade. So I actually begin began to learn how to scale out um, and, and started every time I felt this overwhelming feeling of self-confidence um, and how great of a trade it was. Uh, I'd definitely just be looking to scale out of the position quite aggressively. Um, and I learned that over time, but the only way you learn that is by writing everything down and, and keeping track of everything, you know, taking photos of the, of the, the trade as you move, um, writing how you're feeling throughout the move. If you are making a decision or you have a thought in your mind, maybe I should take something off you, write it down, write it down. So at this time, at this stage of the trade, this is how the chart's looking. I felt an urge to scale out. But whether you make the decision or not, you can write that down as well. But I want you to write it down even if you didn't make the decision. If you're feeling that bodily urge or that that feeling that you want to start scaling out. Um, on the other hand, if normally you do scale out the position and it's running really well and you decide to hold on, or you decide to not scale out yet, but let it go further, write down why. Not just the fact that you did it, write down why you felt that way, why you did it. Um, and over time, once you've grabbed enough data from yourself, you'll begin to learn patterns within yourself when you make decisions, um, how you make decisions and what are the good and the bad decisions that you make and what emotions really drive you to make those, make those decisions. And then once you analyze those, you can kind of flip it back on and go, okay, well, every time I felt like that, this has happened. So we should adjust that. Now it works. Um, and then you go another year of trading and it's a different emotion creeps in and then another year of trading and a different emotion creeps in. And we kind of juggle this constantly, constantly. And that's why I'm being very open and not necessarily have an answer for you because there isn't an answer for you. This is something we constantly kind of battling to stay in that zone and get control of. Um, and I constantly sit in that barrier in between greed and you know, passiveness. I, I guess that's the word I'd use, but um, I sit in that realm all the time and I'm, I'm constantly bouncing between those two. And it's this way of journaling, it's this way of self-analyzing and, and understanding yourself that I'm able to understand my decisions when I'm thinking straight and when I'm not thinking straight. One of the next things that's extremely important in overcoming greed is having rules. Having rules that you follow within yourself, whether it's technical analysis or, or fundamental analysis, actually strategy-based rules or risk management rules or risk tolerance or stop loss movement, whatever it might be, having rules uh, that you can follow definitely help you remove some of that aspect. You don't wanna remove all of that aspect because I do think it's actually your edge as a trader to, to be in tune with your emotions and understand what you're feeling and why you're feeling that way. 
So we don't want a fully automated strategy and this is something I try to teach everyone and it's something we spoke about with Gary Langley recently is the whole X marks the spot strategy. It's not really a thing. Buy here, stop loss here, take profit here and do that every time, right? That can be automated. If it can be automated, it won't last very long, okay? Um, so it's very important that you understand that the asset that actually makes money in trading is you and we need to be in tune with ourselves and understand ourselves on that deeper level so we can actually generate profits from this remarkable thing that we're involved in. Um, so setting rules on like how much you risk for starters can really help. If you bring your risk right the way down, you might find that you don't get as irrational when, when you're making decisions. You might not worry too much when your position's in profit or in a loss, et cetera, et cetera. If, if that loss doesn't mean too much to you, it'll seem as boring, um, which can be a competitive advantage. And another big one which really kind of helped overcome um, that issue with greed was my research. Understanding and conducting in-depth research. If I was trading the FX pairs, I wanted a macroeconomic outlook. I wanted to understand where the interest rates were at. I wanted to understand what the retail sales were like, what were the macroeconomic conditions. Um, and what that allowed me to do is align my trades in line with the way these countries are set up economically. Now, I may not have always been right in how I looked at the economics or how I analyzed the economics or how I try and judge the impact of those economics on the actual financial markets. But what I did do was hold on to my positions better, much better, when I had that macroeconomic backing. I spoke about this with Sol before, is I don't base any decisions purely based off macroeconomic analysis. I'm not a you know an analyst in that respect um, but it definitely gives me a lot more confidence when i'm holding positions in favor of my macroeconomic views and i was able to hold on to positions i wanted to hold on i was able to cut the positions i don't want to cut in um, and that definitely gave me more clarity and i know it's the same if you're trading stocks if you have a bit of an macroeconomic look or at least an internal um, economic look on on how that company is doing and whether or not you have a bullish or a bearish sentiment it definitely can help with how well you manage those positions too not only facing greed but also facing kind of fear of losing and, and being a little bit more aggressive when you need to be aggressive. So research definitely revolutionized my fear and, and greed issues, what I was facing in trading. And finally, this last one is less about greed in holding on your positions um, and more about over trading. Over trading is something beginners do a lot. They love to be involved in the market. They love to be trading live whenever they get the chance to. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's thrilling. Um, that's a big issue. There's a big element of greed and gambling that's pulling you in there and, and being addictive. Um, it's latching onto your addictive personality and, and really pulling you in there. So definitely stick by the saying less is more. Um, maybe confine the hours you can trade. There's a multiple different ways to do this. Maybe confine how many positions per day you can take. You might find that then you start filtering out only the, uh, the good trades. And little things during a trading session, if you have a set trading plan and you know what you're looking for and nothing's teeing up the way you really want it to tee up, read a book or something, keep the charts up there, um, but do something else that kind of keeps you a little distracted from just staring at those charts sold heartily. Um, and it will kind of reduce that adrenaline feeling of, of really wanting to be involved in the market. I think for a lot of traders, greed is probably the biggest um, obstacle in which a lot of people face. We're all attracted to this market, especially in our early days. So you guys that have been involved in this market for a long time, think back to when you first got in and what got you in. It's that greed aspect. It's that aspect of trying to make as much money as possible in a short amount of time and going to live on a yacht and et cetera, et cetera. Um, that greed, while you may understand that it's unrealistic expectations as you progress in your trading career, it can filter into some other places um, while you're trading. So looking at the long run, um, looking long in the distance and, and everything like that, greed becomes a big issue. And I think it's a, a big issue for a lot of traders, which I deal with day in, day out. 
And today I wanted to touch on my story with greed and kind of how I progressed. I wouldn't say I've beaten it, I'm still battling it. Um, and I kind of comes and goes every now and then because I'm trying to find that perfect balance in being greedy enough, um, but also not too greedy, which is always fun to try and figure out. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the, the raw aspect as usual. Um, and if you're having trouble with greed, how did you overcome it? Or how have you noticed it? Tell me in the comments. Let's start having a chat about your emotion that you're battling um, and any other topics that you want me to cover in the future. I hope you all have a fantastic day and enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.